Hey, what's up guys? The How You Blast. I'm Oscar and today I'm reacting to BTS's song Epiphany. Now, this is actually their comeback trailer. This happened uh, before Idol, but we just never got around to reacting to it. But um, we are planning on reacting to the album this time because I know last time we didn't react to the album from BTS. But uh, well, we're pretty much reviewing the album, I want to say. But I want to react to this song before, I don't know, before we really get into that review. But um, I say let's just jump into it. Let's go. Now I do know this is a Jin solo. I think I've only heard this song once, but I haven't seen the music video, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's a Jin solo at least. I wonder, do you guys know the other three members are going to get music videos like this? I don't think they have yet. Yeah, this song is really beautiful, honestly. Give Jin more lines, please. In other combats. I haven't read the lyrics for this song, so I know that might take away from this one, but I will definitely look them up. Man, it's pouring. Whoa, it's raining upward. Did he go out the window? What happened? Did that ever just happen? It's going too fast. I can't read Hangul that fast. I know what it means.
Isn't that the truck from Run? That was t that totally looked like the truck from What Run, right? All right. Um, it's a it's a great song. It really is, honestly. Like, I I feel kind of bad though, cause it's like they've been doing these solo songs before each comeback, and Singularity. Uh, no, Singularity is the second one. Right? Serendipity. That was the first song, and that one one was with Jimin, and it came out, but we just thought it was a teaser, cause I mean that's all we really saw. We didn't think it was a full length song slash music video. Well, at the time, I don't know if it was a full song, cause I think they just released the full song on this album. I don't think it was a music video. I'm not entirely too sure, but um, yeah, we kind of just skipped over it, and I don't think we ended up going back and reacting to it. Kind of like how we did this, or how I'm doing this one, you know? Uh, we reacted to DNA, and then we ended up going back and doing Serendipity. At least I think we did. If not, I know I watched it. Um, I have to go back and check. And after that, it was Singularity, and that one was with V. And Singularity, I think we did react to it when it came out. I think we did it before Fake Love. I'm pretty sure we did. And then now with Epiphany, you know, it, it kind of happened again in, I, you know, I don't know, it just really slipped by us and uh, sometimes it does happen, it just kind of sucks it happened to BTS because I know some of you guys out there really do like BTS and I'm a big BTS fan myself, I think, yeah, I think they're still kind of in my second, they're my second favorite guy group right now. I don't know if they'll get bumped down to third, it really depends on that group's comeback. But I'm not going to let you guys know who it is yet. You guys will find out. But honestly, it will be very hard to take down BTS from their number two spot in my in my list, at least. Just because, I don't know, I've, I, I've liked this group for a while. You know, I think they're, besides my number one, which is Shiny. Uh, I think Shiny and BTS are kind of the group, the guy groups that I've always listened to, you know, ever since I really got into K-pop. Because I think it was um, War of Hormones, I think. That might have been one of the first things I watched from BTS. I think it was War Horm Hormones or Boy in Love. It was one of those. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I just got into BTS like that. And then, you know, um, Fire, Dope, Run, all these songs just came out. You know, it just it was crazy, honestly. Like, BTS just grew on me so much at that time. And it wasn't until recently, I think, with uh, DNA and uh, Not Today. I think those that era of BTS, those two comebacks, I kind of... I don't know, my interest in BTS started to wane a bit. But they definitely brought me back with Fake Love and with Idol. Idol is definitely a different song, but it, it's great, honestly. And I really do love this song, Epiphany. If I had to rate it, I think I would give it a strong 9. It, it does have potential to go to a 9.5. I don't know if I can give it a 10 just because it is. Ah, uh, that's not true, you know? This song definitely does have potential to go to a 10. I just don't know what it would need. It would just have to hit me in the right boot, you know? Because Singularity, I did like a lot. And Serendipity, Serendipity I liked at first, but that one really had to grow on me. Which is funny because that was actually Jimin's song, and Jimin's actually my favorite member of BTS. But uh, I don't know, Serendipity was really great. It might have to do with just the way V's voice sounds. Like, his voice just sounds really unique, honestly. And that probably what made that song grow on me a little bit more. But um, if I just had to rate those three songs, I'd probably give... Oh man, I don't even know it. I take that back. I don't know if I can rate this, these three as like on the list. They're just so powerful and unique in their own ways like I don't know if I could really just do it I feel like it'd end up being I would try doing it off of songs but then I like them all and then I'll try and do it by which members I like but I can't really do that that's not really fair but um yeah this is a pretty great song I will say this is probably not my favorite song off the album but you guys will figure out which one if you guys watch our album review which will also be when we react to their live stage Cause we're kind of doing those two videos together so make sure you guys watch that video it should be out uh, in the next couple of days it really should be it shouldn't take longer than that 
But um, that is it for this video, guys. Like always, leave some feedback below. Hit that like and sub button. And that's all. See you later.